I may have an acquisition problem. So I've decided on this Saturday morning to go through some of the equipment that I have in the house, specifically cameras and GoPros and all this other stuff that I have. I'm going through bags. I'm actually selling one of my cameras. Hi, Lloyd. And I actually bought a new camera. So I'm trying to sell some of my old stuff and get rid of some of my old stuff and go through bags of my old stuff. And I figured I'd turn it into a video. When I look at all of this camera equipment, I keep having these flashbacks to when all those terrorists were going around their town centers with the Toyota trucks and they were showing off the fact that they had all of these Toyota trucks. We turn now to a question being asked by American authorities after so many videos and images of ISIS. U.S. counterterrorism officials asking why are ISIS fighters driving so many similar trucks and where are they getting them from? Look at these images, ISIS fighters riding in Toyota pickups and Toyota Land Cruisers. <laughs> I don't want to be showing off my equipment. This is a lesson learned. I saw on Reddit the other day, I saw somebody make a comment, buy nice or buy twice. Buy nice or buy twice. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I was doing with the equipment and I kept buying stuff until I figured it out what I wanted to do. Trial and error is okay. I don't feel bad about it, but there's just too much crap here. This little Olympus has a lot of sentimental value to me. I actually won this guy on a blogging contest. This is my quote unquote winnings when I was brought on at Baby Center. They didn't pay me at first, but they did give me this camera. At the time, I was so novice, I didn't even know that you can record video on this camera. This is probably the best camera that I own. It's a Panasonic G7. It's a great camera. I just decided that I wanted to switch to the Sony system. This camera is a Sony Alpha 5100. It's not a super expensive camera. They stopped making it a long time ago, but it's great. It fits in your pocket. Not the best for vlogging because of the microphone situation, but inside the house, it gets the job done. Here's the thing about lenses. I had no idea what I was buying. I would go on vlogs, I would look up what people are saying, this is what you should get, and a lot of these lenses have a tendency of overlapping with each other as far as depth in millimeters. So I overbought in the same space and underfunded in areas like that are long range. I don't love action cams or GoPros. I'm not a person that does a lot of action, so to speak, but I liked the waterproof elements. At first I bought this cheap no-name brand then I went on eBay and got a used GoPro 4 at one point, and then I eventually upgraded to a 7. The nice thing about the 7 is you don't need a case to take it underwater. Major selling point. Does this look familiar? This tripod? The Joby Gorillapod? I think uh, Casey Neistat made this one famous. I actually hate using this tripod, and it has been sitting in a box. In my hand, I have a DJI Osmo gimbal steady cam it's this little tiny camera but i also opted to buy this gopro gimbal for the gopro 7 and i have to say that i really do not enjoy using this thing it's very limited purpose it's very hard to flip around if you want to go into a vlogging mode this is another situation i got it on sale like a big time sale so that was great but um very limited use i don't see myself taking this thing out and using it very often, especially because of what I have in my hand, the DJI Osmo. It's a much better tool. I love this thing. It's also important to say that you can have all of the equipment in the world, but unless you have an idea of what you want to do with all of this camera equipment, unless you have an idea of the story that you want to tell, all this stuff is useless. It's just going to sit in a box. Somebody said, I have no idea who, 
the best camera that you have is the one that you have on you or the one that you have in your pocket. And that is totally true. Your gear isn't going to make the videos for you. So just take what you got and make something cool.